Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG death testing video. This time we are playing the Cyclops hero with Justice uh, aspect against Venom. So I tried the pre-built deck with Cyclops and that was leadership against Venom and uh, well, uh, with an unfortunate event I got traded out. I was close to winning the game but that happens in true solo sometimes. So I decided to try my one of my favorite aspects, which is Justice with um, Cyclops. So the interesting thing with Cyclops is that uh, he can include uh, allies, Axemen allies from different aspects. So it isn't uh, limited to basic and the aspect he is using. So let's look at the deck and see what I built. Okay, and we are over on marvelcdb.com and this is my deck, Cyclops Brings Justice. So, um, basically, because I don't yet have the Mutagen Muta Genesis um, campaign box or the um, Phoenix hero box or hero pack, I, I was limited to previously released cards, so only allies I have are the <laughs> X-Men that come in Cyclops. And that's it. I think that's enough allies. At least it felt like it was enough uh, when playing uh, uh, the pre-built deck. Uh, then, uh, of course, I added Bifan Bifaddle, which is the new tactic uh, upgrade that comes with uh, Justice cards with the Cyclops. So uh, this lets me attacked uh, minions with uh, my mm, thwart instead of attack and uh, as we know Cyclops' attack is not that great but uh, thwarting is good and I have uh, heroic intuition to boost my thwarting also I am running the symbiote suit which might be a mistake but it, it really boosts your gameplay if you get it into play early so this also boosts my thwarting uh, in addition to other stats and makes me stay in hero mode longer with the plus 10 hit points and uh, other than that I have like uh, some random cards brains over brawn to uh, deal damage by my sword which is good with boosted part and uh, making an entrance just to have ways to heal while I'm uh, in hero mode uh, one way or another, this is just a new staple for Justice decks everywhere, so this just boosts your uh, card drawing so much. Uh, other than that, nothing really interesting in the deck, so uh, I am trying this just to see how Cyclops works in different aspects, and Justice seems like a good first, first try. Okay, and... Uh, that is the deck, so I think we are ready to start. I have set up the scenario, we have the Bell Tower in play, we have Toughness and Venom, and uh, that is everything. Uh, so that is everything, so let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are ready to begin, so We'll draw our opening hand of six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get exploit weakness, determination, one way or another, brains over brawn, multitasking, blindfold. Okay, first of all. That is good. With combination on one way or another. Termination, not that useful. Uh, actually, these to play the multitasking. Exploit weakness. I think brains over brawn. Blindfold. I think I'm mulliganing these two. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get 
try to hit target, tactical brilliance, and well, that is it. Uh, we really want to get the visor in play, but that is not the case at he here. So we'll go to hero mode. Uh, we'll play one way or another. So we search for a side scheme, and we take. And nail. Uh, there are not that good of targets, but I, okay, part the bell tower seems like a good one. We are not doing anything to Venom yet, so this seems like a good uh, side scheme to defeat. And. Uh, we add three threat there. Oh, three, not four. Okay. Then we draw three cards. We get the uh, field commander, rock slide, and tactical brilliance. So I will immediately play uh, field commander into play. Now we have a title. You take the first turn during play phase. Doesn't affect us. Each cyclops upgrade attached to a minion. Was a temporary keyword, so now we, uh, at least the tactics on minions are better. Then I'll use the determination to play one way or another because we use the determination, we remove one threat from the main scheme and multitasking. Uh, Remove two threat from a scheme. If you pay to discard it, uh, mental resource. Remove two threat from a different scheme. So remove, remove two from here and two from here. Then uh, let's see. We really don't need the tactical brilliance. So uh, we'll. Play the um, Whitworth this away. We'll play um, use tactical brilliance to play exploit weakness for Venom. Uh, no, we'll play the priority target because we we'll keep these two in hand. Uh, then we'll. Use this to no. We'll use this to deal two damage, so we remove the tough. And that is our turn. We ready up. We keep the exploit weakness in hand, so we get the puddle, Ruby quartz visor, beast, the puddle, and that is it. So uh, yeah, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Venom attacks, I will defend, so defending for two against two, so we take one damage, that is it, and the uh, counter card is lashing out, and that comes into play with nine threats, so that's a border, we need to get rid of that, but that is, let's see, so response after Venom takes any amount of damage from an attack, remove an equal amount of threat from here, so we can just deal damage, that's good. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we don't have any minions, so at the moment the fuddles... Oh yeah, this went away at the end of the round. Because it's temporary, so they go away at the end of the round. So, um, we'll use uh, these two to play the will be Quartz Visor. Then we'll use Beast to play Exploit Weakness. And we will fire off. So we deal 
3 damage to an enemy with an upgrade attached, and uh, this gives us plus 1. So instead of dealing damage, increase the amount of damage attached enemy takes from each attack by 1, but we'll put these on the clock tower, so this flips. And now uh, there are both time counters here, so when a Venom attacks, that would deal any amount of damage to an identity, we remove that the time counters. And that is it, so we ready up. We draw back up to five, one, two, three, four, five. We get making an entrance genius, one way or another, angel and direct vision. We go to the villain phase, we add two threat the main scheme. Venom attacks, I will defend. So two plus one, so we remove one time counter. And then counter guard is uh, symbiot, uh, in range symbiot, which has guard and patrol. So we need to defeat that. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well. Uh, we have Angel that can defeat the Symbiots. Uh, I don't think it's wise to play the one way or another at this moment, because we have Lashing out in play. Oh yeah, this went away. But now we can't deal damage to Venom. This is annoying. Uh, we'll play... Ah, let's risk it, so we'll search for a side scheme. This might be a dumb idea, but it is what it is. Volunteer work. You cannot thwart this scheme. Uh, alter ego action, spend two resources of any time to remove this from this, uh, uh, this scheme from... Uh, Re remove threat from this scheme equal to your alter ego of recovery. If you, if your identity has the uh, civilian trait on card. Okay, that comes into play with three threats. So if we go to alter ego, we'll have to deal with that. But it is what it is. But we'll draw three cards. Get uh, ricochet beam, defado, uh, practice defense. So oh, actually, uh, Ricochet Beam is starting to look like a good card at the moment, so... Okay... Mm. We'll put this on Venom, so practice defense therapy fund or... Uh, Bifadol onto the symbiote, or we don't need to put anything on the symbiote. Uh, we'll play a ricochet beam with genius. First, we defeat this, then we hit uh, Venom with three damage. And we remove three from here. And then we'll fi fire optic. Oh yeah, we get the boost card here. Oh, increased damage when I'm takes by one, so uh, actually it was four. Yeah, I forgot that this boosts the damage taken, so... Uh, let's see. We we'll play Angel. Angel will hit for three damage here. And take one consequential. So that is that. We're ready up. We add uh, 3 to the main scheme, so we're at 6 of 10, really need to get this out of 
play and start removing threat from here. And uh, we draw our hand of five cards. Hoping to get the symbiote suit into play soon. Multitasking, brains over brawn, under surveillance, brains over brawn, tactical brilliance. Well, we have thwarting events at least. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Um, oh yeah, we are already there, so... Uh, Venom attacks. Oh yeah, Venom got one more boost card from Angel's attack, so Angel will defend. So Venom hits four. Uh, two minus one is one. Uh, plus three, so four. Plus two is six. Plus one is seven. Remove one giant counter. And if this is an active missile attack, it gains piercing. Well, it doesn't matter. So, Angel is defeated. Oh yeah, I forgot to play Angel cheaper. But it is what it is. And uh, we get an encounter card, which is Shadows of the Past, so that is really bad for us. We get Mr. Sinister, we get a uh, genetic manipulation. And we shuffle these into the encounter deck. So, genetic manipulation when defeated, search the encounter deck and discard pile for gene therapy and reveal it, shuffle. And uh, Mr. Sinister has stalwart, toughness, and villainous, so really hard to deal with. We'll see how we can deal with this guy. Okay. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, mm, we uh, were about to get this game under control, but not anymore. It seems like... Uh, we'll see what we can do. So, we have to remove a lot of threat from different sources. We could play under surveillance, but I'm not sure if we have time for that. And we don't have a way to... Oh yeah, this went away. So, we don't have a way to get a car on the Mr. Sinister, so... Not looking good. So, I think we have to multitask, so I will port to here. Then I will play tactical. Oh yeah, I could play tactical brilliance instead, so I'll play tactical brilliance. So, okay, let's back up. So, we are at six here. So, tactical brilliance, uh, we'll use these two. So, remove three threat from a scheme, choose a tactic card, and discard pile and add it to your hand. We remove three from here. And we'll pick Maybe? No, we need a zero cost. Okay, we'll put this uh, priority target. 
So, uh, because field commander is in play, this doesn't go away. Then we'll hit the top off. Uh, we'll fire uh, three damage here. Then uh, we will. Now we have our one short for playing the brains of Ultron, so I'll just uh, multitask and remove two from here. And I think I didn't have any way to have a um, mental resource, no. Okay, and that is all we can do. We ready up, we draw back up to five. Maybe next turn we get something good and get this game under control. So uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add two here, so it's five. Uh, Ven Venom attacks. I will defend uh, three. We remove one time counter. Mister Sinister attacks. One plus two is three. And we get an encounter card. It is now we are angry, so attacks to Venom, uses two range counters. Venom's attack scales overkill, force response after Venom takes any amount of damage from an attack, remove one range counter. Okay, um, let's put this range as range counters. And that is that, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and I actually forgot to see what cards I get, so I get the Symbiote Suit, uh, Phoenix, Practice Defense, because they Beam and Exploit Weakness. So I will use the Rubik Quartz Visor to deal 3 damage to Mr. Sinister, defeating Mr. Sinister. And we get uh, 2 cards from the Priority Target, making an entrance and dust. Uh, we'll use uh, uh, Ricochet Beam Practice... no... Uh, do I have enough to uh, play Phoenix and... Symbiote suit. Oh. So I'll prioritize playing the symbiote suit this round, next round, the Phoenix. So I'm using dust, uh, making my entrance and uh, practice defense. To play symbiote suit. So we get 10 more hit points. And size plus one and plus one to all of our stats. That is everything we play this round. Um, yeah, we draw back up to six now. Now we have multitasking uh, full blast. And energy. So we can really dish out damage next round. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, Venom adds two threats to the main scheme. Attacks uh, will defend with three. So three plus zero is nothing. We don't take any damage. Encounter card is swinging assault, so the villain attacks you, give the villain one additional boost card, so we will get 2, 3 plus 3 is 6 damage, so that hurt. Oh yeah, we take only 5, because we remove this one time counter and this flips. Okay, and that is that round, let's go to the next round.
Okay, this round we'll definitely play Phoenix. I'll use energy and uh, ricochet beam. We'll search for one Cyclops card from my discard, and that is practice defense. Yeah. Then we'll put practice defense onto Venom. No, I'll use that card to play Exploit Weakness. We will. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think we took one more because this was in play. Yeah. So we'll uh, work this away. So we search the encounter deck and discard file for gene therapy. There is gene therapy. And that's uh, the enemy with the lowest printed attack without copy of gene therapy. Device discard can search. Post in drop when attach enemy attacks. Attacks gain piercing and overkill. At, that, at the end of the attack, discard thin gene therapy. Okay. So this attaches to Venom. Okay. Uh, we'll fire onto Venom, so we deal mm, Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot this last round, so we'll just put it Assault, so Venom attacked again Okay, so two, three, four, yeah, five, okay Hmm, not looking good. So, uh, we hit for four, uh, three damage, so we'll put three time counters here and flip it. Uh, then we'll full blast Venom. So, eight. Except Cypress, this attack deals. Oh yeah. Uh, we can't play this, so... Damn, that would have been so good. But it's not. So we'll just multitask, remove two threat from here. And ready. And actually... Yeah, we can't go to Alter Ego then at the moment, so... We'll get an extra encounter card. Uh, we have to shuffle our deck. Get uh, strength, priority target, rock slide, exploit weakness, multitasking, and angel. We'll go to the villain phase. We add uh, two threat to the main scheme. Venom attacks. Um, attacks have overkill and piercing. Well, I will defend. Uh, so, plus three. Uh, so 5 plus 2 is uh, 7, minus 3 is 4, so I'm, I have 1 health left, this goes away, oh yeah, and uh, we actually took 1 less damage because this uh, would have been removed already, because I attacked Venom twice, and uh, Actually, I didn't attack when I'm twice. Yeah. And when I'm took no damage. Okay, so so this goes away. Okay. We get encounter cards three this time. For whom the bell tolls, remove a two time counter from the bell tower. Oh yeah, uh, we actually. Remove three, so we only took, so we we have five left. But now, um, if the bell tower is on the quiet side, take one damage. 
Let's do one damage. Then we get the Enraged Symbiote and we get Improvised Weapon, so that's the villain. And so that's annoying. So this goes away. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we'll try to get some allies into play this round and try to get this game under control, but we'll see how that goes. So, uh, so do we want to play Rock Slide or Angel? So, Angel costs two. We'll play that with strength. Then, uh, we want to multitask. Uh, but we'll do it like this. So, well, we can't remove two from here because... Uh, it's voluntary work, so we can't remove any from there. Then I'll use Rock Slide to play Exploit Weakness onto Venom. I will deal. Uh, Angel will defeat the Great Symbiote. Phoenix will thwart for two. Uh, no. Phoenix will hit Venom damage. So we get the bell tower flipped. And then I will fire for four damage here. We get a boost card. And now this goes like this. So I think that's everything, so we'll ready up. One, two, three, four. Actually, we deal five damage because we have the exploit weakness and the bell tower, and yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We get beast uh, under surveillance, one way or another. We bottled. Uh, uh, multitasking and genius, so we are slowly getting this game under control. But now, of course, we will lose because I said that. So, uh, Venom attacks. Oh, yeah, uh, we had two here Venom attacks. I will defend with Angel. No, uh, Phoenix. So, resolve the cards when reviewed ability, remove two charm counters from here. Okay, and uh, then with some rings, I remove one threat from the main scheme. Okay, and Phoenix is defeated. We get an encounter card. It is uh, violent tendencies. Attacks the villain for response. After attacks villain takes any amount of damage from attack. Give attacks villain one based on boost card. If the attack deal three or more damage, to attacks villain discard this card. Okay, just put it over here. Yeah, we have a lot of attachments on Venom. This goes away. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, I think I will play Beast this round. After Beast enters play, set your deck and discard five for a resource card and add it to your hand. So that's useful. Um, I'll use multitasking and under surveillance and genius to play uh, a Beast. So we search our deck and discard pile. We have another. We have strength, so I'll pick that. Then, uh, I don't think there are 
well that that's pretty yeah I'll, I'll use the one way or another instead of this so I'll put the under surveillance in play actually and we don't have to worry that much then I will walk for three here I will uh, use this to deal damage to Venom, this goes away, this goes away, gets an additional boost card. Then uh, we deal 4 damage. And I think we will talk. hit from here and that is it oh yeah we'll yeah let's just attack for two then uh, venom goes to the second phase then uh, gets tough and steady And 18 health. So we're ready up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have a determination, befuddle. Brains over brawn, brains over brawn, befuddle, befuddle. Okay. Quite a bad hand, but it is what it is. So, Venom attacks, uh, Angel defends. If it is at Gritation, it's attack, get plus two boost, I can well, and it gets over kill, so this actually kills us. Two. 3, 4, 5, okay, so 5, Angel takes 1, overkill means that Cyclops takes 4, and that is game over, so, <laughs> again, Venom got the best of us, but still, I was just getting the game, under control next round I could have uh, gone to alter ego to heal uh, unfortunately I couldn't get these uh, making entrances uh, to work because I was uh, defending all the time those would have healed me a bit and everything that I think I also forgot to take one bonus card uh, last round but yeah it is what it is Venom is no easy villain to beat but I think I just got a bit unlucky with this playthrough, but this deck has potential to beat Venom uh, if you don't get overwhelmed. But that is the game. Hope you guys enjoyed that playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.